Is blogging in 2025 still worth it? Absolutely. Especially if you want people to really get to know you and you're thinking about building a business or brand online. Social media posts can be fleeting. Your blog is where you can build genuine connections and lay the foundation for something bigger. Plus, there are a load of hugely successful creators who still use their blog to connect with their audience today. So in this video, I'll show you how to start a blog that makes money in 2025. Okay, so let's talk about the practical things we need to start a blog. The first thing to look at is where your blog will live. There are a few options, but I'd always recommend going with the self-hosted WordPress website. Now that may sound like a lot, but basically it means that you have complete control and ownership over everything on your site. You can make it look the way you want, add the features you need, and it will grow with you. WordPress powers millions of sites, so it's a huge selection of add-ons, also known as plugins and themes, that can help you build the site you want. We'll talk about them later. So how do you get a self-hosted WordPress site? Well, all you need to do is get a website domain and hosting. Your domain is the address of your site and your hosting is where your website files are stored. They are linked, so when someone visits your site address, they see your website. It's as simple as that. To make this process super simple, many hosting companies package domain and hosting together. But there are companies that take this a step further and offer WordPress hosting, which helps you skip a few steps and get set up quickly. Bluehost is a great option here because it does that and much more for a fantastic price. If you use the link in the description, you'll also get an even better price for being a WP Beginner viewer. For anyone starting out, totally go for the smallest package as you can always upgrade and go bigger when you need it. And it'll also save you a bit of money too. Now, when you visit your website for the first time, whether that's through typing in your domain or clicking on the edit site button in the Bluehost dashboard, you're either gonna be underwhelmed or overwhelmed. Underwhelmed by what your site currently looks like or overwhelmed by the WordPress dashboard and its array of menus, options, and settings. Don't worry, this is completely normal and easy to fix. Now, I mentioned earlier that WordPress has a huge library of themes. The theme determines the look of your site and many themes come with templates, so you don't have to worry about building everything from scratch. I recommend starting with a really popular theme called Astra and then installing the Starter Templates plugin. You can then search for a blog template within the templates library, preview the one you like the look of and even customize it before you install it on your site. The next thing I'd focus on before creating content, don't worry, we're getting to that, but let's first talk about plugins. They're what add extra features to your blog and there are some essential plugins that I think you need to get started. The one plugin I always install, no matter what the website is, is Duplicator. It's a great tool that allows you to save a copy or backup of your site and download it to your computer. This gives you peace of mind just in case something happens to your site. Now you're probably going to use a lot of images on your blog. Why wouldn't you? They're interesting and can help tell the story. But they're also one of the reasons for slow loading pages. That's why I recommend using an image plugin like Optimal to help make the image file sizes as small as possible and quicker to load. You just install it, connect your account and let it do its thing. Staying with content, we all want more people to visit our blog because more visitors or traffic help us grow the blog into a business. To get more eyeballs on each post, they need to show up in Google search. So you need to do something called SEO or search engine optimization. And SEO can take a bit of time so it's best to get started with this straight away. The easiest way to do that is to install an SEO plugin like All-in-One SEO. It's your SEO assistant and it helps point you in the right direction when writing blog posts. More about that in a minute. One way you can make money from your blog is by mentioning products that you use and love within your posts and pages. Many product companies have affiliate programs where you get paid a commission if someone clicks on your affiliate link and purchases a product. Now affiliate links usually look like this, which isn't at all something anyone wants to click on. But there is a plugin called Pretty Links that can change that easily and make that link look like it's part of your site. And it also helps you track how many people use it too. Okay, so part of having a blog is that people want to contact you with questions, feedback, or even business opportunities. 
For them to do that, you need a way for them to contact you other than in the comments. This is where a form plugin like WP Form shines because it's super simple to use. Choose the contact form template, publish it, and add it wherever you want. Okay, so that's quickly covered the look and features on your site. But what about writing content? What do you write about? Well, there are some pretty simple ways to generate ideas for articles. Probably the easiest is to start thinking like someone who would visit your blog. What are they looking for? And what kind of things are they looking to learn? Then start typing those things into Google. This is basic keyword research and it's pretty powerful. In the search, you'll start to see the kind of articles and pages that are answering those searches the best. From there, you can collect together those ideas into a list. Try looking at the people also ask section for each search to discover more ideas from Google. You can also use the WP Beginner Keyword Generator tool to generate over 300 keywords instantly. You can even download the results too, completely for free. That should give you a good amount of blog topics to write about. Now, when it comes to actually writing your content, there's something I really want you to focus on. Write for your audience. Have them in mind when you are writing and use the kind of language they would use. Don't get too fixated on keywords. Lean more into creating helpful content, sharing your thoughts, opinions, and knowledge is super important. Yes, you also want to make sure it's easy to read, so use things like headings, subheadings, paragraphs to break things up. But a big part of writing is getting what you want down and then tweaking it after. And that's again where all-in-one SEO comes into play. Because once you've written what you want, it will make suggestions on how to improve it so search engines can easily understand what you're writing about. Okay, so that's a bit about writing content. But how do you make money from a blog? As I mentioned earlier, many people start earning through their blog by writing articles and including affiliate links to products that they like where they can earn a commission if someone purchases a product. One of the most popular affiliate programs is run by Amazon. Something I totally recommend to start thinking about as you're starting to grow your blog is creating your own digital products to provide more value to your visitors. This could be in the form of a downloadable ebook, printables, templates, and online courses. Your personal knowledge and experience has real value, which you can turn into many of these products, just like successful creators like Ali Abdal and Jenna Kutcher both who started out with a blog and then moved into creating products for their audiences. They now regularly create content in other forms such as podcasts and videos to a vast audience, which comes with additional income in the way of sponsorship. This is where a brand recognizes your potential reach and the audience you've built and asks you to create content that features their products. Now this could be quite a bit further down the road from getting started, but it's nice to know where this can end up and what's possible when you're dedicated to growing your blog. And on that note, how about we get into some ways you can jumpstart that growth? Well, one way you can do that is start collecting your blog visitor email addresses into an email list. This has so much value and potential for your blog because with an email list, you can connect with people when they're not on your site which is how you can build a loyal following. This is normally done by sending out a regular newsletter and you can use an email marketing platform like Constant Contact to help with this as it's super easy to get started and set up. But I've run on a bit ahead here. You're probably thinking, how do I actually collect people's emails? Well, this is where we can turn to WP Forms again using the newsletter sign up form template and adding that to blog posts and pages throughout the site to encourage visitors to sign up. And to make it super easy, you can connect WP Forms to Constant Contact so that all those email addresses that you're collecting are automatically added to your email list. Okay, so what about the content of the newsletter? Well, really, this applies to the other methods of growing your blog too. So on top of starting a newsletter, I'd also suggest to pick one or two social platforms to start posting content to. Platforms like Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram can be a natural step for anyone writing a blog as posting on these platforms feels simpler, writing content and using images. It's also easier to drive traffic towards your blog through posting links. If you're happy to take it a step further and create video, 
This is where a lot of creators right now are seeing high growth on platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and LinkedIn. The key to creating for other platforms without burning out is to repurpose content. That's take the content you've already created and remix it for the audience on the platform you want. You could look at sections of a longer blog post and create posts around those sections, or write a condensed version as a newsletter and point people to the main article or video. Okay, so I couldn't make a video about starting a blog right now, creating content or repurposing it for other platforms without mentioning AI. And this is totally how you can speed up your blog writing journey, but not in the way you think. I'm not going to suggest writing a full blog post with AI because there are some things you need to keep in mind when you start doing that. But if you'd like a video on that, then let us know in the comments. The biggest thing that AI can do for you right now when starting a blog is take the load with things like research. Whatever you use, whether it's ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, they're all fantastic blog writing assistants. So if you're stuck for ideas, use your AI blogging assistant to help generate ideas, brainstorm, or understand what your audience might be searching for. You might even have an idea, but need help with what to include in the post. Just ask it to outline your idea for a blog post and then write it yourself after that. Looping back to repurposing for other platforms, you can simply tell AI about your blog post idea or copy and paste the content into the chat and then say you'd like five to 10 ideas for posts or even videos that are from that content. Okay, so remember, building a blog is a journey, not a race. There will be ups and downs, but stick with it, keep creating, and you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. Now, if you're ready to dive even deeper into a full step-by-step -step setup, I've got a super detailed tutorial waiting for you. Just click the video right here and we'll walk you through the complete process.